it's Kat and today we're going to be making a card with the beautiful Moonlit Moments collection. I'm going to be using the top set Magical Moments and along with that I've got some of the collection mirror, some acetate, some of our purple gemstones, a 6 inch card blank, foam pads, ribbon, construction glue and my pokey tool. Okay, I'm going to start by making a 6 inch matte and layer base for my card. So I'm taking this stunning purple mirror and I'm going to cut this to 6 inches by 6 inches. bring in the matching cardstock for the top of set that I've chose and I want to cut a, mat, a layer section for this. Now I'm going to try and focus on the centre of my card so I'm not cutting into any of the swan detail. So first of all I'm just going to line that up and trim away. I can use for something else later and then I'm going to measure three notches under my six inches. Turn it once and I am going to cut along this border here, take that off and then we're going to go three notches under the six inches this way. I'm using the construction glue. going to cover the back and add that on top of my mirror. So I'm going to bring in my top set and have my foam pads ready. I'm going to take the large swan topper and I'm just going to take out the inner topper, the picture. And place some of the large foam pads on the back. And I'm going to add this to the top left hand corner of my card, back to my sheet and I'm going to take the second swan with the wishing you a beautiful birthday sentiment and I'm going to be placing this on here. So I need to layer up my foam pads so I need double foam pads on this side. I've just cut to the same length so I'll place one down and then add the second directly on top and then this corner is going to be going on to the original topper so I only need one foam pad and we just put that in the top left corner place this down in the bottom right hand corner. So back to my sheet and I'm going to take the beautiful swan tag and the same again I'm going to double foam pad this and place these to the end of the tag And the bit that's going to overlap onto the original topper, I just need one layer of foam pad for. So I'm going to place this up with the sentiment. And then 
I'm going to finish with the On Your Special Day. And again, I'm going to cut two layers of foam pads so this sits over the original popper. Take a little bit of purple ribbon and I'm going to tie myself a bow. Trim away the excess. I'm going to trim the ends quite short so it doesn't interfere on the topper and then using a little bit of construction glue on the back I'm just going to pop this onto the tag and I'm going to bring in my gems before I move on to my next stage and just add three of the light lilac gems the top right hand corner and I'm just going to pop that way out right of the way a second I'm going to bring in the scoreboard and I'm going to cut a piece of acetate to form a dome around the card so I know I want this to be six inches, so it fits the shape of the card. And then to create a perfect dome, because I'm using a six inch card, I want a half an inch on each side to be able to fold around the back of my card, so that would be seven inches. And then I'm going to allow another half an inch to create the dome. So I'm taking this to seven and a half inches. board I'm going to butt it, butt it up to the box lid I'm going to score a half an inch on one side and turn it around score half an inch on the other and just fold that back in and give it a good burnish down and repeat on the other side I'm going to turn my cardstock onto the back and bring in some red liner tape and I'm going to add two strips down the left and the right side Remove these and these are what we're going to use to secure our acetate in place. So with our acetate facing down, I'm going to slide this under the tab that we've created. When I'm happy with the positioning, I'm just going to press the acetate down onto the red liner tape. Then bring the other side up and you will need to push it in and that will create the dome on the front of the card. And press that into place. And now you should have a beautiful acetate dome on the front of your card. Then we just bring in our card blank. I'm going to cover the base with some more construction glue. I'm going to put it in a temple position. And I'm going to add 
the decoration that we've created on top. Give it a good firm press down. And there we have a beautiful Moonlit Monuments Acetate Fonted Dom card.